you're going. school today. Okay, I guess. What's the matter, honey? Anything happen? My life is over. <sighs> Not again. It's not funny. I mean, I never get to shoot hoops with the other kids. It's just not fair. Why do I have to have asthma anyway? <sighs> Josh, we've been through this a million times. You know you can do anything the other kids can. You just have to take your medication and use your inhaler. Why do you have to be so stubborn about it? You just don't understand. No one understands. This is just you and me. Yo, Josh, little buddy. Who are you? They call me Bongo. You know, like, bingo, bango, bongo. Hey, let's play the bongo drums. That's me, 100% bongo. Why the long face, man? <gasps> I'm seriously depressed. Because you have asthma, right? How did you know? I have my ways. Well, it's not fair. Having asthma is a drag. I'm tired of being left out of things. Sure you're not leaving yourself out? Josh, having asthma isn't the big deal you seem to think it is. I'll show you. Grab your inhaler. You never know when you might need it. Wow. So this is what it looks like inside one of these things. Cool, isn't it? Too bad we can't stay around and look, but we gotta go. We're two. Oh, oh. It's Dr. Weasley. Shh, man. I wanna listen. Well, all the test results are back, and as I suspected, Josh has asthma. What does that mean, Doctor? There's nothing to be alarmed about, Mrs. Gelman. Lots of kids have asthma. Now, this will help explain. As you know, the lungs are what supply the body with oxygen. As you breathe in, the air passes through the nose, into the windpipe, down into the lungs, where the airways divide into smaller and smaller branches. And then in tiny air sacs known as alveoli. So, Josh, I'm going to give you a prescription for preventer medication which you should use twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. Now, this preventive medication heals swollen airways. As the airways are swollen, you'll get a tightness in your chest, especially when you exercise and have colds or allergies. Then you'll need to use this inhaler. Now, this is your rescue medication, which you should use whenever you feel your asthma coming on. Now, it's very simple to use. You just shake the device, Remove the cap, blow all the air out of your lungs, tilt your head back, put the inhaler into your mouth, press down as you take a deep breath, Then you hold for 10 seconds. Any questions? No. Thank you, Dr. Weasel. No problem. Now, you just remember to avoid cats and cigarette smoke, because those are the worst when it comes to asthma attacks. And Josh, all you have to remember is to take your medication before you exercise, and you'll be fine. Okay, thanks again. So I guess you know everything there is to know about asthma. I guess so. In here, Natalie. Dr. Weasen will be with you in a moment. I, 
I know that girl. I I've seen her somewhere before, but, but where? Looks like we're done here. Let's go. W wait. Basketball game. I was in June. Shh, I want to see what's happening. This. Can we get out of here? No way. It's just getting interesting. Some asthma attack you had. Didn't you take your preventer medication in the morning and your rescue medication before the game? Look, I didn't want anyone to see me using my inhaler. Thought I'd be okay. <sighs> you didn't listen to a thing Dr. Weasley said, did you? Look, there's that same girl. <laughs> it's the one from Dr. Weasley's office. I, I know her from somewhere. Never mind that now. We've got to go. Where are we going now? Hi. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Have you got your inhaler with you? It's at home. Here, sit down. <laughs> Lucky I had your back up here. Here, it's ready. You know, Relax. you should always carry your inhaler with you. There, have some water. Just relax for a minute. Thanks, Mrs. Merriman. It's no trouble at all, Josh. See? Your breathing's improving already. Hi, Mrs. Gilman. Hi, it's uh, Mrs. Merriman calling from the school. I know, you know I know. I should have taken my preventer medication in the morning and my rescue medication before the game. But I don't want the other kids to know I have asthma. I think I'm a nerd. Hello, Josh's lungs? This is Josh's brain calling. I'm on vacation. Hold on a sec. Do you think I'm a nerd? No. <laughs> You're cool. But... You don't have asthma. Try again, buddy. You? You have asthma? Me and several million other people. Josh, get with the program. It's not a big deal. Not if you're smart about it. Come on.
I was wondering when you guys were going to get here. Josh, meet Natalie. I remember where I've seen you before. You're the girl on the inline skates. The one who practically ran me over on my way home from school. Yeah, and you're the guy who wasn't watching where he was going. Give it a rest, you two. What are you looking at, Nat? I was just checking out some asthma triggers under the microscope. Want to see? But how can we? There. Now hop off the counter and take a look. What's this? It's a cold virus. Big deal. What's the story with the virus? Well, they make asthma worse, and they can't be avoided. What else have you got? Uh, check this out. What is it? It's cigarette smoke. Whoa! That's seriously ugly. Yeah, I know. And take a look at this. Ugh. That's pretty scary looking. What is it? Ugh, it's a dust mite. They're everywhere. In your mattress, your pillows, carpet. Careful, they might be dangerous. Tough crowd. What next? I've seen enough. Let's get out of here before I have an asthma attack. Right. We've got to go. Ready, Natalie? Yep. Hey, what are we doing here? I figured you wanted to see what happens to you when you have an asthma attack. Can you run this machine, Nat? No problem. Just say when. Just stay where you are and watch. Hit it, Nat. That's great. Awesome. Lungs are awesome. Without them, you couldn't breathe. You see, when you breathe in, air passes through your nose or mouth, into your windpipe, and down into your lungs. You see how your airways become smaller and smaller and end in tiny little air sacs surrounded by blood vessels? That's where oxygen goes into the blood and carbon dioxide comes out of it. You see, when you have asthma, your airways are more sensitive than other people's. Triggers, like cigarette smoke, cats, dust mites, even cold weather causes the airways to get smaller. And that can make it hard for the air to move in and out of the lungs. You want to see? Sure. Have you got your inhaler handy in case you need it? Right here. How about you, Natalie? Mine's right here, too. This should do it. This? Just chill, relax, man. I'm gonna speed up your reaction time so you can see what would happen if you were around a cat for a long time. Do it! Hey, my uh, chest is starting to feel a little funny. You see what being around a cat can do to your airways? but I think I need my inhaler. <coughs> Me too. That makes three of us. You have asthma too? Yep, and I don't let it stop me from doing anything, especially not sports. You see, Natalie's got the right attitude. Come on, we gotta go. Bye, Bongo. Bye, Josh. See you later. Bye, Nat.
Bye. We're back where we started. It's time for you to get home. Oh, it's la vista, baby. Remember, Josh, it's not a big deal having asthma, if you're smart about it. It will be from now on. Kid, you done good. I knew you had it in you. Be cool. Mom, Mom, you're never gonna get to that. Never mind.